today we're going to be looking at a butterfly. channel and hi to all my new subscribers thank you for joining me um so today we're going to be looking at an amigurumi uh, butterfly which i've made it's taken me quite a while this is the infamous one that i've been talking about for a few weeks now and um, finally pushed myself to actually finish it um i got a little bit bored of it but I'll, I'll explain explain why in a minute but uh once i got the boring bit done um it was okay so I'm quite pleased with it. Um, not 100% happy with the face, but I think I've got away with it reasonably well. Um, so, uh, pattern first, as always. So um, this pattern is actually from a magazine. Um, it's actually called Cleo the Butterfly. As you can see, my face didn't work out quite the same as that, but I was a bit lazy with the instructions, if I'm honest. Um, so this was in uh, the Love Crochet magazine, um, it was issue 44 which was for March, there, ha there has been another issue out um, since I started this. Um, yeah, so, as usual I didn't use uh, any of the yarns it's dated, <laughs> nothing new yet, I hear you cry. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll go through, through the yarns and then talk about it a little bit at the end. So, um, first thing so it's it was a, a three millimeter crochet hook, uh, which is quite small. I, I usually tend to use um, a three and a half or a four foot aragrumis, um, but it seemed to work quite quite well. I think I might have overstuffed it a little bit, but we'll talk about that more in a minute. So, for the features on the face, um, these are all by one yarn. These are all Mariner double knit, 100% acrylic yarns. Um, no surprise there either really is there um, so this yarn I apologise for the rattling um, Chip is having a little epi fit in, in my, my cockatiel for those of you new to the channel I have a cockatiel well, I have two cockatiels the female one's tame and she's having a little epi fit in her cage and she's right beside me so um, if you can hear rattling that's what it is so I do apologise um, so uh, yeah the, so the features on the face the eyes and the mouth um, I've just used uh, black yarn I mean obviously any standard double cake uh, double knit yarn would work um, so the shade is uh, C-045 uh, black um, I the codes as you many of you know that have been with me for a while the codes have changed so this is one of the older yarns it's just uh, so that's any of you that have never come across mariner uh, mariner is roughly for the normal double knits around about a pound of all so it's for 100 grams so that's pretty good um, for the, um, so that was for the, obviously the face features, for the arms, the legs and the antennas, um, we used Marina Double Knit and we used the shade C-040 in chocolate. Um, so the uh, for the main body and obviously for the main part of the head, um, I used um, Mariner Double Knit and I used shade C-028 and this one's Lavender again all these yarns I've shown so far all older codes so if you're planning to buy some you will need to obviously look up the new codes they do still do the Lavender I, I do know that um, for the um, appliqued uh, patch of the, the face patch thing round disc uh, what you want to call it <laughs> Um, I've used the shade Flesh. I've only ever seen this one ball. Um, I don't know where they still do it. It's basically, it comes up quite white on camera generally. But it's a very, very pale pink. Yeah, it's kind of a flesh colour in real life. Um, for the uh, wings, um, again, this is an old code. The pink has changed slightly, I do know. I don't know what it's called now, but it, it's a very slightly different colour, the newer ones. Um, so this is one of the older ones, it's C-035 and it's called Cerise. Um, so it's just a, a, you know, bright, ooh, that's gone very blurry. It's just a very, very bright pink, sort of fuchsia colour. And the last bit, which um, is for the little bow and the uh, heart, 
Um, actually, this was a scrap yarn that I was given by uh, one of my mum's neighbours. Um, she's a knitter and she quite often gives me any leftovers she has. Um, unfortunately, there was no ball band with this. I've got um, sort of a purpley blue version of this as well. Um, but it's actually, I don't know if it will come out on camera, but it's actually pink and white. It's all kind of, I don't know how well that's coming out on camera. Sometimes when I look on the screen as I'm doing it and then look on the computer sometimes things come out completely differently uh, but it's actually it's it's plied so there's a white strand and a pink strand if you get get what my drift is um I think it's an acrylic but I you know it feels like an acrylic to me but obviously I don't know what this is so sorry if that's a little bit frustrating but it was only for the details so it was just something that I had to hand um so uh to construct it basically um it's a classic aragaramis it's working in the round uh for everything actually even the wings um it's all in us single crochets uk double crochets um the body is made as one piece the head is made as one piece with the the lavender um you actually do a round of the flesh color or white or whatever obviously colour you choose to do for the face and um, that's a disc that's then uh, sewn on to the front of the head and obviously the detail face details are put on it as well um, the antennas the arms and the legs are all basically made in a very similar way obviously there were some more uh, increases and decreases on the legs as you can see there's there's a you can see there's shape to the feet a little bit of shape to to the, the hands um, everything's stuffed apart from the wings. Um, I think I might have overstuffed the body just fractionally, but it's, you know, I always worry about understuffing it sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the bow was just, it was a very simple, um, just a few uh, US double crochets, which are treble crochets or triple crochets in the UK. Um, and it's a similar thing with the heart shape very basic and obviously they were both stitched on with obviously with that pink yarn that I don't know what it is. Um, the wings were worked, it, it's in four individual pieces, you make two this size and two this size. Um, there's lots of increases and decreases in them so if you're not used to increasing and decreasing it might be a bit tricky. Um, if you're trying to learn that then that's a good thing to practice with. Um, they worked in the rounds and then you basically stitch them all together and then attach them to the body. Now one of the things in the pattern that it said was um, to put uh, cotton buds or um, I think you call them Q-tips I think in the US. Um, so there is, it's basically to give the wings some rigidity so um, there, literally there is one where my fingers are there. I do it like that. There's a, a cotton bud there and one there. Now it did say to put some in these bits as well um, but I just couldn't get them to fit where they weren't actually flapping around and because I'm going to be sending this off to a child um, I was concerned um, that it might come through um, the stitches so these ones seem pretty solid in there so it's just done across the width and that seems to be holding them in, in just to keep the shape basically. Um, so that was something unusual that I've I've never done before. Um, I actually quite like the shape of the wings. I think they've uh, actually done quite well with those. Um, yeah, and they're just stitched onto the back. So sort of there's quite a lot of sewing. Um, the bit I got really bored with, and I think it was primarily because of the colour. Although I think it does actually look good finished. Was was the brown, the chocolate um, bit. The arms in particular were quite fiddly because it's working in the round. I think it was about six stitches by the time you've sort of got near the top um, and I just got really bored doing it I, I don't like working with darker colours I'm you know what it's like when it, you've not you've not got daylight you know because I quite often craft in the evenings and uh, yeah so obviously it was a bit of a challenge for my eyesight so um, that was what held me up I got the body done I'd got the head done I got the face decal done and I, I'd done half the wings um, before I kind of lost interest in it. I'm sure you've all done it where you started a project and you've really enjoyed it and then all of a sudden it's boring, isn't it? So it, I, I would say the limbs and the antennas were the bit that bored me, but I pushed myself 
to do it because I just wanted I've got so many projects on the go that it's ridiculous so I just wanted to have something finished so the plan is although my my friend has got her eye on this so but I'm going to try and send this to Woolly Hugs um for those of you that are new to the channel uh Woolly Hugs is a uh charity based in the UK and um, they have various projects for different things some of them are angel hugs which are uh, white baby blankets to wrap uh, children that have passed away in uh, obviously while they're in the hospital so their parents have got something um, some of the projects are things like for hats and scarves and shawls and all that kind of thing for refugees um, what else do they do they do uh, what they call candy hugs which are all done in Starcraft special DK um, and they get you can make just make squares or you can make a blanket or whatever you choose usually people put squares send squares in and uh, um, if what you know you can design whatever you you want it's just got to be a set size it's usually six inches or 12 inches I'm not sure too sure for the candy projects I've not done that one um, and you send them in and they're constructed into blankets they help women with cancer um, and I'm trying to think what other projects there are um, there is a project and I can't think of the name of it where a similar thing squares are sent in and constructed into blankets and they go to bereaved children or bereaved uh, families in general um, quite often it's for children that perhaps have lost a parent or a sibling um, so there's all sorts and I'm sure I've missed some um, projects out but the project this is for is for the I think it's called the Belarus project um, so this will be actually for Christmas I know it's not very Christmassy but um, they're asking for um, people to make Aragurumi toys for children in Belarus that are suffering from cancer um, and that are, you know, obviously in the very poor bracket and uh, so they have a toy. So they're asking for all sort of, you know, teddy bears and all sorts of things. But I thought this would be really, I saw the pattern and I thought that'd be a really lovely uh, gift for a little girl. So I'm actually quite pleased with how it's come out. Um... Yeah, so I'm pleased it's finished. Would I do it again? Possibly. Not in a hurry though, just because I got so bored with the arms and legs. Um, yeah, but I think the result's pretty good. I'd like to know, see what you think. I think it's come out okay. Not too far from the, the compare. Even though I changed the yarn, it's not too far from the actual picture, I don't think. I think I've got that, you know, pretty similar colour wise. So, yeah, so that's Cleo the name of it on the pattern anyway <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm quite pleased with it so that's it uh, life update apologies for those of you that were in the stream on Saturday night um, I wasn't there even though I had planned to be um, I ended up getting a migraine I'd had one on the Saturday morning shifted it by lunchtime so I managed to dose myself up and that seemed to help um, and then by evening it came back so I have got over it I've had some migraine symptoms this morning I'm recording this on Monday I think it's the 3rd of April today I'm losing track of the days I was just there's been so much going on um, we've still got a lot of appointments my mum's still poorly but I, I just want to say thank you to all you lovely lot that have sent uh, my mum and my friends some get well wishes um, it's deeply appreciated and they were passed on so um, thank you for that um, my mum has improved slightly but she's still very very poorly so um, yeah and so things are just very very hectic here I have no idea what the next thing is going to be possibly a unicorn which was a kit that came with Simply Crochet magazine that I'd started and still haven't finished um, I'm also working on a frog from the um, I can't remember the name of the book the book I showed in the birthday gift haul which have got um, sort of like zoo animals in, but there's a frog pattern in there. Lucy will know, Lucy Coates will know which one I mean. I am actually working on that at the moment. I've got the body done, and I've started working on the legs. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get the finish on top of the next video, so I would imagine probably the next video will be the unicorn. I'll try and get a second video up this week, but I'm um, just asking you bear with me. There's um, a lot kicking off in my life that I just can't go into. Um, because I don't want any legal ramifications. Um, 
yeah, difficulties with um, a neighbour, let's put it that way. Um, so there's lots of extra things in my life that I so I might, I'm kind of got hands here, there and everywhere. <laughs> so I'm quite tired. Um, and my friends had a lot of uh, doctors and hospitals and nurses appointments. So um, we're still sort of trudging away through that and that doesn't look like that. I thought that was going to kind of by the end of next week was going to slow down but it's now looking like it might not so um you yeah, just uh, bear with me um it's only trouble with spring everything seems to happen everybody's doing stuff and things are eventful um but we've had a nice day today it's a bit chilly out there today but um it's, it's a nice sunny day so i hope you're having good weather where you are i hope jan if you're watching that uh, it's not raining where you are because i know you get a lot of rain don't you um yes yeah, so that's it um I don't know what else to say really. Uh, my brain is full of all sorts of stuff. <laughs> it's all just going, <laughs> joys of mental health problems. Those of you new to the channel that perhaps aren't aware, um, I suffer from anxiety and uh, depression. And on medication, it is uh, under control and I manage it, but that doesn't mean to say I don't have bad days. So, uh, yeah. My brain's very active at the moment, which is not a good thing. But, uh, I've got a handle on it, so so don't worry. Um, yeah, so if any of you suffer, you're not alone. And, uh, you know, just if you ever need to reach out and just say I'm one too, you know, I've got it too, then, you know, feel free to do that. There'll be, be no judgment on my channel. Uh, it's all about love and acceptance and encouraging people to crochet. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, like I say, hopefully the next video will be a unicorn. I will try and get one done at the weekend. Just depends how my week goes. Um, yeah, and then hopefully after that it will be the frog. And then after that I have no idea. I'm still working on the virus blankets for those of you that are wondering. Um, the white and yellow one, I am so far behind. I've got about a month to get it finished. And I don't think that's actually going to happen. So that's a bit of a nightmare when it's for somebody's birthday. So... Um, I find it difficult to have time to work on it and still get stuff to show you guys. <laughs> so, um, and it hasn't grown very much since the last shot it video, so I can't even do it as a, as a work in progress. <laughs> the struggle's real. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hopefully, um, for those of you that perhaps don't know about uh, Sean's Crafty Corner, um, I'll put the link down in the description. Um, she does a stream every Saturday night. So if you want to get to know people, um, it's a live stream. Uh, Sean does the talking and we all chat in the, uh, obviously in the chat bit. Um, so there's lots of us that, you know, are in the crochet community on YouTube there. So it's a good place to meet people. Um, Oh, and something I would like to do, I've been thinking about doing, and I was going to do it a separate video, but I think I'm just going to tag it on the end of this. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Um, my channel grew primarily thanks to Jan's shout-out that she did. So I'm thinking about doing a, a single video of shout-outs for people um, that are perhaps new to the community. Um... So I'm thinking that the criteria needs to be that you have um, under 200 subscribers um, and in, you, you need to be obviously a crochet channel because obviously that's primarily what we're about. You know, if you do a mixture of crochet knitting, that's fine. Um, but I thought it might be good to do um, a video where I can shout out some people that I know. I mean, there's, there's a few people that I'm aware of. So if your channel is under 200 subs and you would like a shout out in one of my upcoming videos, um, I will do it as a separate video. So if people don't want to watch it, then they can skip it. But just sometimes it's hard to find new channels um, when you've been watching YouTube for a while. Um, and it's very hard to get over that first couple of hundred. Well, the hundred, the first hundred is always the hardest. Um, so if your channel is under 200 subs and you would like a shout out, uh, please let me know down in the comment section and I'll make a note of it and I will do that in a video so that I might perhaps do that next week so people have got time to obviously watch this and uh, make a decision do it if you know of any channels that are really really good that you're really enjoying perhaps are, are struggling and just not known out there then uh, obviously you know if you want to recommend somebody that's fine as well but they must have under 200 subscribers 
um, that's just because once you hit 200 your channel starts to grow naturally anyway so um, it's just help people get over that hump because uh, if I hadn't been for Jan my, my channel wouldn't have got under that over that hump Sean as well has also given me a lot of shout outs so there's a few people that have over over the months and I'm, I'm grateful to you all but but Jan's shout out gave me the huge hump and I know a lot of you came across from there so I just thought that'd be nice to give back I like to you know I can't always give people stuff but I just thought that would be um, a good way to give back help other people I like helping other people it's nice to do isn't it um, so that's it, I've waffled on for 20 minutes, so I think that's quite enough. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's it, um, hope you enjoyed that, sorry if I waffled a bit, I'm, I'm a bit tired, I had a terrible night's sleep, so um, my waffle is always worse when I'm very, very tired. Uh, yeah, so that's it, and um, hopefully I'll do another video at the weekend. So, you know what's coming, so until next time, remember to stay well, happy crafting, and remember, till next time, to stay true to yourself. Bye.